Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to do the second part of the Star Wars uh, video dump, I guess, today. I, I actually, the Star Wars dump. Uh, I actually did another video earlier talking about the George Lucas rumor. I was going to talk about the Episode 9 uh, alleged leak of the plot and how stupid it sounds, but I figured Geeky should get in on this yes. stupid action too. So we split into two videos. And this is what we're going to talk about. The leak, rumored leak of uh, the plot of Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker and how Palpatine returns. And this plot sounds terrible. It sounds... It sounds bad, but I want to take a moment to, to look at the bags upon bags upon bags. This is what happens when you don't sleep in 50 years. Yeah, right. <laughs> you got the red eyes and then the bags, 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 bags. I'm just putting that out. Moisturize me. Yeah, something. He needs he needs cucumbers. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> to moisturize his eyes with, right? Yeah, what else would he use cucumbers for? Dark side uh magic. Dark dark side of the force. Dark side cucumber salad. Yeah, that's that's what I was talking about. Okay, so anyway, um Please subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already. We're over 50,000 subs. We want to hit 100,000 hopefully by the end of the year. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I, 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 we should take bets because I don't think it's going to be that. I don't think it's going to happen either. But you know what? We can we can Ideals. Help. We can help. We have ideals. Uh, so yeah, this uh, leaked, uh, alleged, alleged leaked plot of Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker sounds like ass. Yeah. Okay. So you were reading um, this last night. And I was actually sleeping, I think, and I woke up and you were trying to tell me about it, but I was also very, very tired, so I don't remember half of what you said. But what I do remember was sounded really bad. So Yeah, so pull up a chair. We're gonna we're gonna talk about it. Now keep in mind that uh, half of the uh, the writing team of this movie worked on uh, Batman vs Superman. So we got J.J. Abrams and, and one of the writers Yay. from Batman vs. Superman. You already, you already know it's going to be so good now. We've killed off uh, any of the characters that anybody really cares about. Uh, Princess Leia is gone in real life. And we've completely painted ourselves into a corner. What could possibly go wrong? A lot, if this is any of this is true. What could possibly go wrong, if this is true? Now, I want to preface this because people are like, oh my god, it's a rumor, it's not true. Because yeah, there are a lot of fake rumors out there on the internet especially when it comes to Star Wars, because I remember now, The Force Awakens, there were a lot of rumors that were dead on that Reddit got right, but then when The Last Jedi came out, it was, like, almost all wrong. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know how legit this is. But why weren't they, like, leaking stuff on purpose to try to, To like, see who would take the bait. Say, like, oh, look at these stupid YouTubers. He, 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 yeah. These stupid bloggers. He, he, So, and, you know, warning. Um, possible, maybe, who knows, God only knows, rumor spoilers... Does ahead. anybody care at this point? I don't know. Does if you care, care, you probably want to stop watching now. So apparently the leak comes from 4chan. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, so... There you go. <laughs> so, and, and, and completely anonymous poster, right? And, and details that the First Order has conquered most of the galaxy just a year after The Last Jedi. Now, this version of the rumor coming from Bounding in the Comics, I'll put a link in the description. However, there's a rift among the First Order. They're not getting along. Not only does Kylo Ren feel torn between the light and dark, but he has replaced General Hux with Allegiant General Pride. Hux is not taking kindly to being replaced and is leaking information to the Resistance in the hope they will kill Kylo and allow him to assume power. So Hux is going to die, for sure. <laughs> While Hux is leaking information, the Knights of Ren return from a journey to the Unknown Regions. They do exist. They do exist, right? They were supposed to be in The Last Jedi and everybody just conveniently forgot How about many them. people would have rather would have liked The Last Jedi a little bit more if they had Knights of Ren in it and they focused on that? But that would have taken away from the 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 strong female characters, the strong female Mary Sue's they inserted instead. Yeah, right. So it's, it's like this is going to be weird because we're going to go J.J. Abrams movie uh, completely derailed in episode eight to trying to salvage what's left. Mm -hmm. By the guys who wrote. Batman, Batman, Batman versus, versus Superman. Superman. Yeah, I know. Um, so they're they're going to come back to the Knights of Ren and report on a secret arsenal of super weapons built by, by Palpatine. However, in order to locate this arsenal of super weapons, they need to acquire a, de a device, a MacGuffin, called the Wayfinder. Oh, God. The Resistance is clued in about the Wayfinder and sets out to retrieve it before Kylo Ren in the First Order. So now we've got, you know, it, what, didn't they do this in the, the uh, Force Awakens too? Who's going to find the, the magic map to Luke Skywalker first? Mm -hmm. 
the coordinates to the Wayfinder are actually stored in C-3PO's old memory unit. But why would he know? Why would he know? If Palpatine has super weapons built in a secret arsenal, because if, 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 the, if the Rebellion, because it was Rebellion then, found it, they would have destroyed it. So why the hell would C-3PO know about it? I don't know. I'm confused. Doesn't even make sense. Probably so they can, it's this old memory, probably so they can shoehorn in a montage of the entire saga as seen through the eyes of 3PO. You know, like, here's all my memories flashing before my eyes. However, that memory unit is in an abandoned Imperial blockade. So we have to go fetch C-3PO. Why would they leave C-3PO's memory unit in an abandoned Imperial blockade? I don't know. Like, I mean, all this. Why would the, why would the Rebellion know. ever have done any of this? Doesn't even make sense. What the hell happened to his red arm? He had a red arm, and then he didn't have a red arm. It's probably sitting in an Imperial blockade. Probably his red arm has his, yeah. For probably has a Death Star built into it. Oh, God. Nevertheless, the heroes retrieve the memory unit. Of course they do. But it's not so simple. Of course not. They need to go to a decommissioned droid factory in order to unlock it. Your your Wayfinder is in another castle. Yeah, we're sorry. Your <laughs> Wayfinder is in another castle. We're sorry. Princess Leia is in another castle. Uh, while attempting to unlock it, they're ambushed by the First Order. However, Carrie Russell's bounty hunter, Zora Bliss, and her Zori Zori Bliss. Bliss and her droid Dio, the one that looks like, like Woodstock from Peanuts, uh, rescue it's them. It's based on a uh, rubber duck. Yeah. Yeah, it was based on a rubber duck. He told me that. That's that's ridiculous. Uh, not only are they rescued by Bliss, but they upload the wrong memory unit into 3PO. Hilarity ensues. Instead of his old... Okay, this is where Instead I'm like... Instead of his old memory unit, it's porn. <laughs> <laughs> it's porn. Bliss came for 4 chance, so, you know? Instead of his old memory unit, he receives the memory unit of a combat droid. This causes him to steal Chewie's bowcaster and adopt an aggressive persona. Didn't they what? do this in episode two where they switched his head with the battle droid and it, they played it for laughs and it was one of the worst parts of the movie? They're going to go there again? Is This can't be real. Wait. This so, can't be real. Instead of his old memory unit, he receives a new memory unit. It's a memory of Tumblr. <laughs> he, he suddenly he suddenly starts he started suddenly starts fighting more for droid rights um likes to do um rule 34 art and, of chewy of chewy and um yeah that's what happens yeah I'm gonna Go draw, he's gonna draw chewy without his bandolier um <laughs> resistance Ooh. finally discovers that the wayfinder is located on a desert world oh another God. one this is stupid at the same time they're discovering it kylo ren consults an oracle what? Who reveals the same information? Where did this oracle come from? The two I sides clash on this other desert planet. So now we got three, four desert planets in Star Wars. We got Tatooine, we got Geonosis, we got Jakku, and this other place. Yeah. Wouldn't it make more sense if this is the last Skywalker movie? Wouldn't it make more sense to have it take place on Tatooine so we can kind of end it where we began it? I would. I would be like, let's go back to Tatooine one last time. But no, that's just but me. that would that would make sense. That's so. just me. So they clash on this desert planet with Rey and Kylo Ren once again, battling each other. During their fight, their force bond allows them to experience past that events. That doesn't even make sense. Star Wars greatest hits. So is this where they're going to do their flash fighting, where they're like telepathically kicking the crap out of each other, like Wait, like, gonna, but, but like gonna... Gandalf and Saruman and Lord of the Rings? How come no one else had force bonds ever that allowed them to experience past events? Gets better. Gets better. Hold on. Hold on. This is where the twist. The twist is revealed. Oh, wait, you missed the second paragraph. Oh, no, it. never mind. It's it unclear matter. that Kylo is de de if Kylo defeats Rey, but according to Lee, he and the Knights of Ren retrieve the Wayfinder and head to the ruins of Death Star to use it to unlock the arsenal's location. The Resistance pursues him, but are once again almost defeated because Holdo's not there. But thanks to the, an alien named Claude... <laughs> Is that that thing? That's the penis monster. Is it really? I bet Claude's the penis monster. Thanks to the penis, they're able to escape. Thanks to this giant space dick that shows up, they're able to escape. <laughs> we don't know if that's space the penis. Space but... dick keeps them from getting completely His fucked name's over. Claude. <laughs> by the resistance. <laughs> you never thought that that would happen. Not, but... uh, that a space dick could keep you from getting fucked over. Okay, so this is where the twist is revealed. The twist. This is where Shyamalan twist, comes in. The twist. Kylo Ren and Rey discover the Wayfinder actually contains the spirit of Oh my Palpatine. god, it's Horcrux! Oh my it's a Horcrux! <laughs> Please take 
God, say that it's is a true. horror crux. Please say this is just out there for bait because this is just awful. In fact, the Knights of Ren are actually loyal to Palpatine and manipulated Ren in order to free the Emperor. That's a, the long way to go around, isn't it? Why did you just go get it in the first place? Oh, only Kylo Ren could open it? Yes, I think. After Palpatine's spirit is free. So I just picture them like, like opening the box in his blue mist coming out screaming like, I'm back. You know, <laughs> he takes possession while the Knights of Ren portrayed by Matt well, Smith. I thought Matt Smith was out of it. Matt Smith keeps saying over and over and over again that he wasn't in it. Surprise, it's a twist. <laughs> the doctor's here. Anyway. Now he's what, Mr. Clever? I like Mr. Clever. He's going to be anyway, Mr. Clever. Mr. Mr. Clever Evil. was pretty good, though. He announces his plans to retrieve the arsenal, subjugate the galaxy. Reveals that he was the force behind Snoke. Oh, so imagine that. Snoke a puppet. What you kept saying once he was Snoke would be Palpatine, like, controlling yeah. him or something. As Palpatine announces his As he plans, monologues. As he, he monologues. monologues. Luke Skywalker and Han Solo appear as Force ghosts. How does Han Solo appear as a Force ghost? Because he believed... He had a religious conversion. He believed in the Force at the end. He, whoever believes in the Force at the end, will come back as a Force ghost when they're stabbed by someone. And then they use their lightning to kick all their asses, right? Yeah. So Luke and Han come to urge Kylo Ren to join the light, which he does. Reluctantly does. Reluctantly. He's not really sold on the whole good guy thing. He just killed his dad, but his dad's there to tell him, you know what, it's okay you murdered me. You can turn to the light now because I'm a force ghost and I'm here with your Uncle Luke and it's all good. Hey, son. Sorry about that. Kylo and Rey then fight to stop Palpatine together. After they defeat the possessed knight of Ren, Palpatine takes possession of Kylo Ren. Of course he does. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking Ghostbusters too. I am your husband, sir. Why am I dripping through the goo? goo? It's because his base penis got to you. <laughs> Claude got to you and he fucked you over. You know, your nephew watches these. Just Okay, okay. Maybe you should shut the video off after I've already put Said the all the words. You can't Said put it back words. in the box there. You no, can't. You, if you can put Palpatine's ghost in a box, you can put the bad words in a box. If, since we're talking Harry Potter, you know those howlers where they open the letter and mom like screams at you? Other people will probably picture me as. I'm actually not like this all the time. Just half the time. Anyway, go ahead. However, there's an internal struggle. That's why he's dripping. So, wait, wait. So, this is uh, like and, one of those things where like, these, I'm bad. Oh, I'm good now. I'm bad. No, I'm good now. Oh, no. Yes. Stop. Stop hitting ah, yourself. Stop hitting ah, yourself. Stop hitting yeah. yourself. Stop hitting <laughs> yourself. Uh, Ren urges Ray to kill him. <sighs> kill me, baby. She does. Palpatine is unable to possess Rey. Because she's just too good. She's too good, and thus he's destroyed for the last time because he can't possess Rey. He can't possess Rey. Because you can't possess a woman because women can't be possessed. No man can possess a can woman. Can possess Rey without. Uh, and plus, she's just too Mary Sue. She doesn't. The Mary give... Sue is too strong, and it and he can't do it. She doesn't give her consent. But never mind. Pal Luke, Luke can turn evil and almost kill his nephew, and everybody else that's been, a, you know, a, 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 has been cons consistently good and not swayed. Suddenly bad, but not Ray. Ray always stays good. She always stays Mary Sue to the end. She's a pure, pure Ray. Somehow the First Order and Palpatine's hidden arsenal are destroyed. Now about the arsenal, the rumor is they're going to have uh, star destroyers that have like mini Death Star cannons on them. I was joking about mini Death Star and C-3PO's arm. That's, that's what they're... They're, they're going to have Star Destroyers that have like little death, mini Death Stars attached to the... Because they kind of teased it in the last one where they had the of course they, Death Star of course they are. cannon. So now they're going to have mini Death Stars in the Star Destroyers. Of course Destroyers. they that's are. That's what we've heard. Of course they are. That just, you know, of course. So after they blow up Palpatine's hidden arsenal, following the destruction, Rey mourns the death of Kylo Ren. She misses their shirtless talks. Yeah, during her mourning... <sighs> During oh her God. morning, Luke Skywalker appears as a Force ghost and resurrects Kylo Ren. Skywalker has risen. He has risen. The leaker indicates that Lando Calrissian and the Knights of Ren don't do jack shit. I actually heard that a couple places. They're kind of just there. They also note that the final battle takes place within the ruins of the Death Star and that Kylo and Rey use their Force Flash power to fight against Palpatine. They also indicate that the Sith fleet will be there for the final battle. This sounds god awful. This sounds really, really terrible. Um, I just, I'm just trying to get over the fact that 
Han's now a Force ghost, and uh, and Luke, who has been consistently good and overcame evil and everything else in every other movie, now, uh, you know, he almost killed his nephew. He was trying to kill his nephew, and now he comes back to bring him back to life. He, he, sp he literally space Jesus's He's uh, Kylo Ren gets space jesus Kylo Ren gets space Jesus. Yeah, I thought I thought uh, uh, Leia was space Jesus. Well, no, was... that's what uh, that's what uh, Squicken called it when she was flying. Space he Jesus, called it space Jesus. Jesus. Now this is that uh, Kylo Ren is going to actually be space Jesus. Well, they and you know, but Luke redeems himself by bringing him back to life because he tried to kill him for no reason at all. That Luke Skywalker would never do because you know. Well, I guess that Ryan makes Johnson. up for. It. I guess that makes up for. No, but it shouldn't have to make up for it in the first place. Luke should still be alive for this movie because you know, and die in this movie or something because he shouldn't have had been ruined in the last movie to begin with. If this rumored leak is true, it just shows you that they're trying very hard to undo the damage because they're like, okay, where were the Knights of Ren? Oh, they were away during the last movie. Yeah. Uh, really, that's that's what happened. Um, we killed. Who was Captain Marvel in the last movie? Oh, she was away until the very end. Yeah, yeah. Know? Well, uh, um, we killed Snoke. Oh, we'll bring Palpatine in and say Palpatine was manipulating Snoke the whole oh, time. Oh, hey, speaking of other news that's really stupid, did you pull up the one about how the movie, the, the, the uh, Avengers Endgame directors made, you know, clarified that Mace Windu and uh, uh, Nick Fury are not the same person? No, I didn't. Do you want me to Apparently, pull that up? yes. So apparently this article, no Nick Fury and Mace Windu aren't the same person. <laughs> Because, you know, these guys have to confirm it. Because we have to get Avengers Endgame in there. We have to tag that a lot because, you know, the movie's out now and they're trying to be, you know, be really, you know, sell a lot and beat records that way too. So one of the greatest mysteries of the MCU has been solved. Why is this a mystery? Why do we need an article about this? How dumb are you? Fans know that Star Wars exists in the, fans know that Star Wars exists in the MCU because Spider-Man references the film. Yeah. Why, I never even knew this was, I never knew this was an issue because they talk about, the Star Wars movies, Spider-Man references the Star Wars movies, so since... that makes that, that makes Star Wars the movies exist in the film. Right? Couldn't it just be that Nick Fury looks like Samuel L. Jackson? I just um... could they be uh, other other universe Star Wars movies that are feature different people? Maybe. Yeah, I just fans have been bending our backwards trying to reconcile these facts. Does Nick Fury moonlight as an actor? Is it a cover? How about you know this this thing called suspension of disbelief? And the fact that we have to write an article about that, well, they had to write an article about this, and we're reading an article about this, is just just highlights how stupid the internet has become. Yeah, Nick Fury just happens to look a lot like Mace Windu. Yeah, this is stupid. I can't believe people are actually they were serious. Yes. This is what. Okay, so here's the thing. This is coming from the Star Wars show, the official Star Wars YouTube channel, and it's basically the the whole purpose of this article is to promote the Star Wars show and. Endgame, Endgame. On, on DVD. It's on, yeah. Did they mention it? They do. They mention uh, Skywalker, they they're going to promote the yeah. new Star Wars movie. And, and Thor, Love and Thunder, and What If, and all yeah. these. This is, this is like a complete shill article. This is what you call article. shill. This is a shill article. Uh, I don't know what to make Lasagna of this. Lasagna of shill. The what? Lasagna of shill. It is. No, it's, it's like shillception. Because it's a shill website embedding... The shilliest of all Star Wars shows. I mean, the star, the official Star Wars YouTube channel is nauseatingly sh shillerific. Mm -hmm. It's just complete. I mean, of course it is. And then advertising the DVD, the upcoming Star right. Wars movie, and all the other projects for MCU. Right. It's a shill lasagna. There's a and there's, there's no layers. no comments there's because a shill onion. Has a shill onion. <laughs> there's layers. No comments because nobody cares. Yep. Nobody cares. But they just throw it out into the internet and they hope that they get some clicks off of it. Nobody cares. I just thought it was... I'm like, why did we have to write an article of this? Because I'm telling you why. Because Disney probably like, paid them Well, too. it's lasagna. It's lasagna of shill. The shill lasagna. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. If Speaking of, of which, uh, this would be a shit lasagna if this leak is actually true. And I, I don't have high hopes for this movie. I don't know how they're going to fix it. I don't know, and this is not something. This I hope this isn't true because this is not fixing. The it. Emperor's soul is in a freaking. I was box. making jokes about that. I'm like, what is he, he? Like he's possessing somebody. He's like he left. He, it's attached to something. And I made that joke in the one video. No, no, it is. He he made a horcrux of himself, and you know he. But he was trapped in this box in this weird place, and but he's still somehow controlling Snoke. <laughs> 
Okay. I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. In a, in a sequel in trilogy, a rebellion, in, in a rebellion left C3PO's memory wiped in some place in an, in an, in an Imperial whatever, and they left and they left all this this bad stuff that they knew Palpatine had. They left it out there. They would have gone after it and destroyed it years ago. I don't need. So it didn't fall into the wrong hands. This doesn't even. It doesn't even make sense. It, it's, uh, well, what happens to Leia? I don't even mention that. No, that's well. That's another reason I'm like, is this legit or not? Because there are a lot of things that have already been leaked that we know are legit that aren't even mentioned. You know, in this, uh, you know, characters and Leia's not in this at all. Uh, they talk about addressing um, Ray's parentage again to undo the last Jedi and it's not mentioned yeah, so this at is, all. This is so. again, like, you know, total, total rumor. Yeah. Total, total, you know, you don't know if it's true or not. We don't, no one knows if it's true or not. It could be complete utter BS. It was a fun little jaunt anyway. Let's hope they don't do this in the movie. I mean, it's fun, fun little jaunt to make fun of. Yeah. That's not that it would be a good movie. I mean, that's, that's the sad thing about Star Wars now. I actually, I enjoy making fun of Star Wars more than I enjoy Star Wars itself. Because it's just so laughable now. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to wrap this up? Oh, please do. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants here on Clownfish TV. We'll talk later. Bye. Goodbye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.